Let's talk about this thing, e to the pi i. You may have noticed that I like to use this thing in my math equations. I like to use it a lot. It gives them an extra bit of finesse. Makes me look like someone who knows what they're talking about. You know, someone who actually knows how to add and subtract numbers. So if you're not familiar with it, e represents a special math constant. The irrational number 2.7182 and so on. One of those infinite numbers. Take this number to the power of pi. Pi, of course, is the ratio of the diameter to the circumference of a circle. This times the imaginary unit i, also known as square root of negative 1. And the whole thing somehow equals to negative 1. These seem like a bunch of weird arbitrary numbers put together. Let's just consider e to the power of pi. That ends up as this other irrational number, uh, 23.14069 and so on. Yet somehow this, multiplied by itself, an imaginary number of times, becomes negative 1. Why is this? Maybe because Euler just freaking says so. That's it. It's dark magic. Clearly inspired by the devil. Euler can make any number equal any other number. By the power of Satan. Oh sure, back in those days people talked a lot about being religious and inspired by God and all that. But what the heck is this? Come on. Not only are we using square roots of negative numbers, but also trigonometry. Let's face it, trig has always been the gateway to hell. And Euler's identity is clearly a hyperdimensional demon thing from the depths of the abyss. How does any of this actually make any sense? I don't know. I just know it works. So there you go. e to the pi i equals negative 1. Looks fancy. You can use it instead of a negative to make your equations all that much more intimidating. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you.